Cuddly Crab. SpongeBob and Pearl organize and develop the Cuddly Crab. Hey, Mr. Squidward. Isn't it great that we have all of our customers and me money back? Sure, I guess. For you, at least. I can smell more money coming me way. Yeah, whatever. A few weeks later. Breaking news, Bikini Bottom is going through its first recession ever. No, where is me money going to come from if these fools need to save money? Pearl, I want you to come buy the Krusty Krab today and bring some ideas to help me bring in more money. Sure, Dad. See you later. Wow, I can't believe what is going on to me business. Less and less money is coming to me pockets. Hey, what's wrong? Hey, what's wrong? Hey, what's wrong? Listen here, me boy. Business is slowing down. Too much, and if I keep losing money, I will have to close the Krusty Krab. Hey, what if you, me boy, help my daughter find a new way to reorganize my old Krusty Krab so my pockets don't get hurting no more? Yes, sir. Wow. How is my little girl doing? Did you come with any ideas on how to bring me more loot? Yes, daddy. I got a few ideas, but I need SpongeBob's help. Whatever you need, my darling. SpongeBob, get over here now, boy. Here I am, reporting for duty. Listen here, boy. I need you to go through with my Pearl's plans and do whatever she says, and don't be afraid to ask Squidward for help. Sir, yes, sir. Don't bother me with this. Okay, well, I'll be heading home now. I need to get some rest for tomorrow's brand new reopening. We got it from here, boss. Catch you later. Well, SpongeBob, we need to change everything. People are trying to get healthy, so let's give them what they want. Are you sure, Pearl? It seems like people don't have money. I got everything planned out. We just need to get everything in order. Here, check it out. I need to call Mr. Krabs and tell him about this great plan. Hey, Mr. Krabs. This idea Pearl has is great. We need to get your approval. Boy, I don't care as long as it brings me money. Now go on and stop bothering me and get back to work. Alrighty, boss. You're the boss. Okay, Pearl. Let's go and develop the cuddly crab. What are the changes? First, we need to get rid of the menu and Krabby Patties and add tea and salads, new uniforms, bean bags, flowers, stuffed animals, and hearts. Mmm. I don't know about this, but Mr. Krabs gave us the green light, so I'll go and get those things now. Wow, the place looks amazing. I guess we can close and get ready for the grand opening tomorrow morning. I can't wait to see Squidward's and Mr. Krabs' face tomorrow. It's going to be a blast. Thanks, SpongeBob. This is really cool. And I already have a lot of friends coming over already. Hey, Dad. Welcome to the Cuddly Crab. What in tarnation? Look at the name and the decorations. How is this ever going to make money? Hold up. Look at the line. Wow, all these teenagers are bringing me new money. Pearl, I love you. Same, Dad. Now cut it out. You're embarrassing me. I look ridiculous. And I promise you, Mr. Krabs, that these teens will get bored of this new business within a week. That's how teenagers are. Nonsense, Mr. Squidward. The week is almost over. And business has only slowed down slightly. Whatever. I'll see you next week, then. Squidward, you were right. Business is so dead that no one even came in today. That's what I was trying to tell you. And guess what? You should really reopen the Crusty Crab because the recession is over now. How do I tell my pretty little baby that her business idea was a failure? I got it. I'll tell SpongeBob to fire her. Great idea. I need you to fire Pearl because we are reopening the Crusty Crab. Now go on and do it, boy. No questions, but... I said go. Okay, sir. Pearl, you're fired. Oh, my goodness. Thank you, SpongeBob. This job was so boring. Please tell my dad that it was so much fun working here. Bye-bye. Uh, well, that was easy. And great. The good old Krusty Krab is back and is going to be better than ever. The main things that will occur in this episode will be what causes organizations to change, 
what tends to cause organizational change can originate from both internal and external forces. One external force would be economic conditions. And just like any other business, and this episode deals with how the economy's environment can have changing effects to a business. Following the return of Mr. Kraft's customers, he notices that sales are declining and suspects that planting is back to its sneaky ways. The actual reason for this, however, is that Bikini Bottom has experienced a recession and as a result, people are spending less and saving more. Pearl and SpongeBob are putting in charge of formulating a strategy to keep the business afloat during this time. They come up with the cuddly crab idea, which targets a healthier, younger crowd. SpongeBob loves the idea and persuades his boss that his idea will bring in a ton of money. The suggestion SpongeBob is giving his boss is showing an internal force. The internal force being enforced is employee pre preference and suggestion. Employee suggestion and preference can be an excellent source of innovative suggestions for change. And once again, it's up to Mr. Krasman's managerial decision to decide whether to take the suggestion or not. He decides to let Pearl and SpongeBob take full control of the development process and strategy. If you want to make your coworkers to take a more active role in your business, you need to listen to what they say. A big reason employees don't take more initiative at work is that their leaders fail to get their input before making decisions. Great communication skills are one of the most significant qualities of an effective manager. Listening to employees also helps keep them engaged with their job while fostering healthy morale. Everyone has their own unique perspective and creative take on things. If you don't listen to your employees' ideas, it can stunt the growth of your company. Had Mr. Krabs not involved Mr. SpongeBob to, or trusted his instincts, then the Krusty Krab might not have made it through the recession.